This is my recipe for a Boston cream pie whoopie pie. A Boston cream pie, if you're not familiar with it, is a yellow sponge cake filled with pastry cream topped with ganache and garnished with a cherry. We're going to put it into whoopie pie form. So I'm going to start with the pastry cream because we have to make it and then let it cool down. So I have a pot on my stove in approximately medium high heat and I've got one cup of whole milk. Well, you can see the pot is warmed up that we're going to put in there. And then I'm going to put in a vanilla bean. Um, if you don't have a vanilla bean or you don't want to go to the expense of a vanilla, a vanilla bean, you can um, do this by adding a teaspoon of good vanilla extract. If you can't use the vanilla bean, at least use a good extract. I'm just going to scrape out all the seeds here. I'm cut these in half and I'm going to throw them in there. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to steep this for about one to two minutes. All right, it's been about two minutes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the bean. I can find it. Here it is. Put that aside. I'm going to use that bean again. There's still a lot of good flavor in there. I'm just going to let it dry out. I'm going to remove that from the heat. And now I have another pot. And in this pot, I'm going to put one third cup of sugar and two tablespoons of cornstarch. The cornstarch is going to be our thickener. It's going to make our pastry cream nice and thick and creamy. I'm just going to whisk those together to kind of get the cornstarch broken up, make sure there's no lumps in it. To that, I'm going to add three egg yolks and one third cup of whole milk. Whisk that together. And now I'm gonna add in all that vanilla milk. Then it's gonna go on the burner and I'm going to cook this stirring constantly until it's nice and thick. This should take three to four minutes. The uh, mixture is getting very thick. You can see it's steaming. It's almost ready to come off. I'm going to keep really mixing it a lot right now. There it is. Okay, I'm going to take it off the heat and I'm going to add two tablespoons of soft butter and mix that until the butter is all melted. Oh, it smells wonderful. The amazing smell of um, the vanilla bean in there. It's, it's so much better than the extract even, but really you can use the extract. I've used it many times and it still makes a very good pastry cream. And this pastry cream it's universal. It can be used in eclairs, cream puffs, all kinds of things. Okay, there we go. All combined. Now I'm going to pour this into another bowl. Just saw a piece of butter in there. Okay. I'm going to pour it into another bowl and I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap and it's going to go into the refrigerator until while we make our um, whoopie pies. So there we go, plastic wrap. I'm going to put it right down on the surface of it so that you don't form a skin because this is sort of like a pudding. You just put that down there and then into the refrigerator it goes. And when while this is cooling down, I'll come back in a minute and we'll start making the whoopie pies themselves. I'm now going to make the cake part. I have two and three quarter cups of flour, and I also have a half a teaspoon of salt in there. To that, I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of baking soda and one and a half teaspoons of cream of tartar. And I'm just going to give that a quick whisk and put that aside for a minute. Now, in my mixer bowl, one cup of sugar, one half cup of good quality shortening. I'm a big believer in good quality shortening. I've tried others, don't like the taste. 
but that's up to you. Now we're going to cream these together. It's a very simple recipe. It's a very good recipe. I think you'll really like it. And I also have two whole eggs. I have a half a cup of whole milk, a half a cup of water, and I have some vanilla extract, which I'm going to put in one teaspoon. I'm going to get this mixed up a little bit. Some of the shortening is sticking to the side of the pan, so I'm going to just give it a little push down. Now I'll start adding my eggs. And then I will add the vanilla and the spoon. Add a little bit more. I love the taste of vanilla. And then I'll start adding the uh, flour, alternating with the milk and the water. Give that a little scrape down again. I've also got my oven warming to 350 degrees and I'm going to bake these approximately 12 to 14 minutes until they just started to get a little brown around the edges. Let's put in some of that flour. I think I'll put the water in first. Some more flour. Then we'll add the milk. This is buttermilk, by the way. I'm sorry. I think I said whole milk. This is one cup of buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, what you can do is use whole milk and then put in a few drops of vinegar and that sours the milk and gives that nice tang to the milk. Okay. Scrape down those sides again and put in the rest of my flour. And then I'll start scooping these. I use a, uh, an ice cream scoop so I get the exact amount of batter in each one. This recipe will give you approximately 20 halves or 10 whole, you know, top and bottom whoopie pies if you use a regular size ice cream scoop. You can also make these as minis or you can make it as one large whoopie pie. But I will use parchment lined sheets because that's what I like to use. And there you go. So now I will just scrape this down. Okay, let me just grab my sheets uh, and my scoop and I'll be right back. Got my sheets with my parchment and my scooper. And then I'm going to start. I usually put six on a sheet because these will spread. And I just kind of try to mound them so that they're not going, you know, you haven't got an oddball shape. Although these are coming out more like, is my oven all heated up? These are coming out more like ovals than rounds, but it doesn't matter. They are going to taste delicious. Like I said, 350 degrees, approximately 12 to 14 minutes.
All right, let me get these two sheets in the oven and then I can finish scooping and baking later. Here are our Boston cream pie whoopee shells all out of the oven. They're very, very hot. I'm gonna let them sit on the sheet for about a minute or two. Then I'm gonna take them off and put them on a wire rack and let them cool completely. We can't do anything until they're really cool. So as soon as they cool off, I'll be back and show you how to put them together. A Boston cream pie wouldn't be a Boston cream pie without the chocolate. So now we're going to make the ganache that goes on top. I'm going to put one quarter cup of heavy cream in my pan on heat. I don't want this to come, well, near to a boil, but not quite a boil. So we'll let that sit for a minute. I have some chocolate here, four ounces of really good uh, dark chocolate. Don't use a cheap chocolate, use a good one. And I have some light corn syrup, which we're going to use one tablespoon, and I have one quarter cup of confectioner's sugar. So I just want to wait until this comes to that simmer and close to a boil where it starts steaming, and then we'll proceed. All right, cream is steaming and bubbling. I'm going to pour it over the chocolate. Just going to let it sit there for a minute to get that chocolate nice and soft before I add the other ingredients. Now just keep whisking the chocolate in the warm cream. You want to get these two uh, ingredients blended first before you add anything else. In retrospect, I should have had a bigger bowl. That's okay. I'll make it work. Now I'm going to eyeball one tablespoon of light corn syrup. This is going to give it a nice shine. And then one quarter cup of confectioner's sugar. And after I blend all of this up, this mixture has to sit at room temperature for at least five to ten minutes. It's too warm to put right on the um, whoopie pies right now. It'll just kind of gloss over and you know fall down the sides. I want to have a little control over where I put it. So we will let it cool down at room temperature and then we'll put our Boston cream pie whoopie pies together. There we go. Let it sit for about 10 minutes. It's time to put together our Boston cream pie, whoopie pies. Here are our pies. I put the bottoms here and I've got out my pastry cream. I'm going to take some of the pastry cream, put it on. I'm going to be pretty generous because I just love it. Oh, I can smell it from here. It just smells so vanilla y. You can see all those bits of um, the vanilla bean in there. It's great. You don't want to fill them too much. I mean, I like to fill them a lot, but because when you bite them, they're all going to go all over the place. But maybe this is the kind of dessert or the kind of whoopie pie that you eat with a knife and a fork. Or not. Okay. Oh, that's the rest of it's mine now. Okay, and now the chocolate has been sitting for a while. I'm going to take a little bit. I like to do it separately rather than on there because otherwise it's wobbling. This way I have a little bit more control. And if the chocolate does run, it's okay. Put a cap on it. Can't forget the cherry. So I'm going to finish these up and then I'm going to have one. I hope you try them. They're really, really good. They'll keep in the refrigerator for a few hours. I wouldn't put these together much before you're going to eat them. 
Boston cream whoopie pies.